Hi there. Let's uh, talk about other charges today. Um, first, let's uh, log in to our point of sale and uh, website. So it's all set to go. We are logged in. I'll just close these sections to make it a little bit tidier. Um, now, we want to go to other charges. Let's just talk about other charges first. Other charges are for things you want to sell or for items that you get charged for, that, but you don't track them uh, in, in your inventory, and there's obviously no cost of goods sold associated with them. Um, if, if a supplier sends you something and there's a, a freight charge or a packaging charge, um, you could make that freight or incoming packaging charge and other charge. That way you could record it um, as, a, as a cost on, um, on, your, on the bills coming into you. Um, likewise, you could also create another charge that you put to your customers. An example might be punctures on a bike tire. Uh, you may also sell bikes and biking related gear, but you want to be able to charge people when they come in and need their tire fixed, but you're not actually going to sell them. You might, you might sell them the tire, you might sell them the valve, but you also want to charge them for the for the repair itself, And but you don't want to track, you know, you don't have a certain number of repair jobs in stock and you're not going to sell one. This is a this is a service essentially. So service is the same thing as an other charge and this is how we set it up. So we'll go into products here, slide down to other charges. And this page loads. Uh, we can add a picture for other charges. There's a picture down uh, down here. Um, let's let's create one. So I've clicked on Add New Charge. I'm going to call this uh, Tire Repair. I'm a fan of not having. Uh, actually, we'll make that the code. I was going to say. Um, I'm a fan of not having spaces in codes. At some point, a space in a code will trip you up, so it's better better practice not to put spaces in codes. Uh, we will call this tire repair. Code we're going to put as, as I said, tire underscore repair. We're going to charge $20 for this repair. We're going to put a barcode of uh, simply like that. This we're gonna charge. We're gonna put this to a sales account called Other Charges. That that's an account that should um, feed into uh, your accounting package. Um, and then we've got a, a purchase sales tax and a sell sales tax. So purchase sales tax is the tax we might pay on this if someone's uh, sending it to us or or, or we're, we're receiving the charge from an external supplier. Um, and when we sell another charge, uh, this tire repair, this is the tax that we'll put onto it. It'd be obviously quite uncommon that an other charge would be used both by your suppliers that are sending stuff to you, and you would use the same one um, to charge your customers. Normally, normally they'd be separate. You could use them together, but um, normally they'd be uh, separate. And this is where we could load an image. Uh, okay, we'll put this funny one, air freight charge even though it's a bike repair, but I could go put a proper picture there um, if I wanted. Now we're going to create it just by clicking on this button. And there's our tire repair created. Um, I could remove it. If I remove it, it'll slide down into this bottom section here. Oh, sorry, it's um, it's been... Uh, doesn't slide down to the section. This bottom section is just for managing the images on the other charges. The um, it's just been made inactive, and we can reactivate it here. So let's go. Let's go sell one of these tire repair things, tire repair services, and we will slide over to our cart, which is essentially our point of sale page. Um, let's see if I can find this. I could type in the. I could scan the barcode. That didn't come up. That's not coming up either. Should we refresh the page? Ah, oh, this is not coming up because I made it inactive and now it won't show it to me, obviously. So let's um, <laughs> let's go reactivate this. So I went to products and then I went to other charges. I'm going to find my tire repair. I'm going to reactivate it because I actually do want to use it to show um, you guys how to sell it. So now it's active. And now we'll go to the cart, and now I will type tire again, and hopefully it will come up like it should, like it does. Now it's in the cart, and you heard that, that beep, so you get a, a beep like that when something is successfully entered into the cart. Um, and the person's going to pay with by FPAWS, which is a debit card or a credit card. We're going to check out. 
and we would normally print this for the customer. This You would normally send this to a uh, thermal receipt printer as opposed to an A4 printer, um, but that, that's just a matter of changing it over to the right printer. I'm not going to print. I'm just going to cancel in this case. There's our still receipt, and we're back on the pause page now, and we're ready to do sell something or do another tire service um, or whatever we'd like. I hope you found that useful. Thanks.